I'm sorry, but she What's going on Slay Bays? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be talking all about the brand new Tati Beauty Texture Neutrals Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. Yes, I said Volume 1. Does that mean there's Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4 to come? I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. This is Tati's very first launch with Tati Beauty, so I'm really, really excited. And I know a lot of people are just hyped up about this palette. They can't wait to get their hands on it. And a lot of you have actually been DMing me saying, hey, are you gonna review the palette? When's the video coming? So here it is, finally. I really wanted to take my time, use the palette for my opinion, and then get the video up. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, if you love it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel, it is free. If it's free, it's for me. So if it's free, I know it's for you. Also, don't forget to click that bell so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. With that, I do have a lot I wanna talk about, a lot I wanna get through, so let's get right into it. Well, I know what you're thinking. She still has makeup on, I know, and that's only because I want to kind of break things down into different categories and give you guys my opinion just so that way you guys can form your own opinion. So let's first and foremost talk about the overall packaging and design of the eyeshadow palette. This right here is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette Volume One. It's in a really, really nice soft touch packaging. I really love the feel. I feel like it looks very luxe, very chic, you know? Like I love, love, love the neutrals. I'm a sucker for packaging and this is just nice, but it's not like overly done, if you know what I mean. While this is soft touch and it feels very, very nice in your hand, the downside to soft touch is that it gets very, very dirty very quickly. Definitely not a deal breaker for me personally. Okay. When you open it up, she did include a huge mirror. Like my girl covered all the real estate for a mirror right here. And that is what I love. Let's actually talk about the layout of the eyeshadows. When I saw this on Trend Mood's Instagram page, I wasn't wowed right away because when you first look at it, it kind of just looks like all of the same shades. You know what I mean? It looks like a palette that is so repetitive, but when you look super close at it, you can see why the shadows kind of repeat themselves. And that's simply because she included a different formula for every single shade. So on the bottom right here, we do have all mattes. We have sequins in the next row all right here. We have all of the metallic shades and then all of the glitter shades. So now after holding the palette in my hand, I can understand why a lot of the shades look the same. And that's simply because the formula of each shadow is completely different. Let's actually talk about price and delivery. This palette right here does retail for $48, which I know for some people is a little bit up there in price point, but honestly, it feels very, very good quality when you hold it in your hand. While it is paperboard packaging, you would think of something very flimsy, very light. That is not the case with this palette. It feels very, very heavy in your hand. It feels just weighted and nice, and it doesn't feel cheap whatsoever, so I could justify spending $48, especially because of formula unreal but we'll get to that in a little bit i also want to talk about delivery aka shipping really quick i did get expedited shipping so it did come pretty quickly within three to four days and i was very very impressed considering how big this launch was for her so i feel like her shipping and her customer service is really really great she did post something on her instagram saying that they overcharge by like a dollar and then she was like refunding everyone which is very very good customer service because a lot of people probably didn't even pick up on it but the fact that she noticed and is now issuing all of these refunds is really really awesome on her part so so let's move on to swatches. Now, normally I'm not the biggest fan of swatches, but for some reason, people go crazy about swatches. For me personally, a swatch is never gonna determine how well an eyeshadow truly performs, but I know why people love them. So we're actually gonna do live swatches here in a second, just so that way you can see how everything swatches. So let's get started with the first row, which is the matte row. The second row I'm going to swatch is the sequin row. And as you can see, it has like a matte formula, but it has this really, really nice like iridescent reflex glitter, but it's not chunky whatsoever. And it looks so beautiful. 
Third row I'm going to swatch is the metallic row. We love a good metallic, okay? And last but not least, we have the glitter formula, which is very, very smooth. When I tell you it doesn't feel chunky or gritty or anything like that, it's just such a beautiful formula. We're now gonna move on to quality and application, which is a category I know you guys all wanna see. So we're gonna get into it in three, two, one. So I zoomed you in super up close and personal. I know you guys wanna know all the deets, quality, application, like is it worth it, is it hot? Like give me all the tea. Ooh, your tea. Ooh, tea is you know, so that's what I'm doing. I am gonna start off by priming my eyelids. You guys know I love to use my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. This never fails me. It does a really good job muting out my eyelids and also acting as a really nice base for shadows to stick to. So I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild brush that I got from the Pac-Man collection and I'm really just going to spread this evenly all over my eyelid. Now that my lids are nice and primed, I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. It's called Soothe, and it is that really pretty matte shade from within the palette. I am gonna take it on an M441 by Morphe, and I'm just lightly going to rock this back and forth in the socket. Now keep in mind, I didn't set down my lids just because I wanted this to really show up to its full intensity, and plus, anytime I set my lids with a little bit of like a bone color shadow, you guys freak out. You guys are like, you're doing it wrong. That's not how you do it. That's why it's not pigmented. You guys literally go crazy, so I didn't want to set down my crease just for the simple fact that I wanted this to be as accurate as possible. So I'm just going in small circular motions. I will definitely say this shadow is packing a punch. It looks really, really pretty and it's blending out very, very nicely on my lid so far. Whoo! Looking really good, feeling good. Honestly, that matte brown is beautiful. I do want to start deepening things up just a little bit. So the next shade I'm gonna take from within the palette is, hmm, do I wanna go like Sienna or do I wanna go like Espresso? You know what, I'm gonna take the matte brown called Ritual and I'm gonna take that into my crease with an M507. You guys know I really love to pinch my outer V with more of a deeper shade. So I'm gonna start by tapping it. Ooh, that is pigmented, boo. Oh my gosh. Wow, I was not expecting that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pack it right here in the outer V. Just like that. And I'm gonna rock it into my crease just a little bit. So once I have that color like placed where I want it, I'm gonna go in with like a smaller fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go in small circular motions to really buff and blend it out it doesn't matter how much i blend it it's like it almost keeps on blending and like spreading and it just looks so seamless and effortless honey i'm in it so hands down the mattes blend out beautifully the only two shades i've used so far is this matte shade and this matte shade right here but it's really important that i showcase what all of the finishes look like on the lid so the next shade i'm going to take is the ritual sequin shade right here this is what it looks like it literally looks wet what i am going to apply it completely dry right next to that matte shade and it has just a little bit of reflex in it that really just kind of like transforms so i'm just tapping it closest to the outer v and then i'm going to take a smaller brush and i'm just lightly going to feather the edges inwards i will say it is really 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 pretty like it's the little details you know like it's not too chunky it's very soft you could definitely use these as matte shadows on their own like you could have definitely used this in the outer v and then just lightly buffed it out but i just layered it ever so slightly over top of that mat just to give it a little pop so i may or may not have gotten a little carried away when it came to that sequin shade like 
Y'all, when I tell you these shadows blend all the way out, like I probably could have blended that brown all the way to my brow if I wanted to, but I had to bring it back down to reality, tone it down a bit. I do want to cut my crease and move on to my lid shade. I am gonna take a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna use the Milani Conceal Imperfect Longwear Concealer to carve out a little bit of lid space. And the brush I'm gonna use to do that is an M124 by Morphe. A little concealer is really gonna get that done. By the way, while I do love the really big mirror on the Tati Beauty palette, I do find the palette to be just a little heavy, like my hand's kind of getting tired holding it up. So I did just switch to a handheld mirror here by ABH. So crease is cut, we're locked and loaded. It's looking pretty good. I'm a little shook it. Um, I am gonna go in with a metallic shade now. I actually wanna go in with a few metallic shades. I'm gonna make this look very, very extra. You guys know me. Okay. The very first metallic shade I'm gonna go in with is this one right here. It is called Aura. It is so beautiful. And I am going to take this in like the very inner one third of my eyelid. I'm gonna use an M124 and I'm just lightly gonna press it right here. Again, I do wanna use several different metallic shades to kind of get my look. So I'm not gonna take this in too far. It's just gonna open up the eyes a little bit. I am applying these completely dry directly over top of that concealer. And so far it's laying really, really, really nice. I am gonna flip the brush over and I'm gonna take the shade called Soothe right next to Aura. It is a metallic shade and I'm gonna put it right next to Aura, just blending the two together. Now I'm probably gonna cover this up with a glitter just because I feel like it's really important for me to use a glitter in today's video, but I really want to show you what the shades look like for like demonstrative purposes. The next shade I'm gonna go in with is the metallic shade called the story it is a really pretty I don't know it's like an orangey metallic without being too orange I'm just gonna stick this right next to that bronze and lastly I'm gonna take the shade called ritual which is more of like a chocolatey bronze shade and I'm gonna put that right next to it really just blending it into the matte shade I have out here in the crease then I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of the sequin ritual shade and I'm lightly just gonna feather that into the metallic. I did say I was probably gonna cover up all of the metallic shades with the glitter, but I don't think that's what I wanna do today. I kinda wanna take a little bit of the glitter formula and just put it like right there in my crease to kinda showcase what the glitter is all about. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of putting glitter all over my eyelid, but I do wanna do kind of like three looks, one palette, so I'm thinking I may do that in a separate video. But for today, I wanna take this glitter right here Oh my gosh, you guys, that is stunning. Oh my God, it's very smooth to touch. Like it doesn't feel chunky whatsoever. Wow. I'm gonna take a MAC 210. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the glitter shade called Soothe. And I'm just gonna put this in my crease and really just kind of like cut that area. Every time I like do a little stroke, I'm just like. Oh my God, I'm such a child. So this right here is what that glitter looks like in the crease, you guys. It looks so beautiful and it was so easy to get that glitter in the crease like once I placed it and then started to really work it in with my brush it just stayed in place it did not flake really all that much which is very very surprising because anytime I work with glitter I kind of feel like it really just crumbles all over my cheeks and stuff and that definitely wasn't the case in today's video so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm probably gonna pop on a wing lashes do the rest of my face off camera we'll finish off the lower lash line and then we will talk about it some more I'll get these messages. 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 I'll get
We are here. We are ready to finish off the lower lash line. I did do my base and everything off camera. If you guys are interested in any of the products I have on my face, I will have them all listed down below in the description. So make sure you guys check that out. But let's actually jump right back into the Tati Beauty palette. I'm going to take the matte shade called Ritual and I'm going to take it on a flat definer brush. I'm really going to stick this closest to my lash line because I really want things to be nice and smoky. So oh my god you guys i literally dipped into the shadow once and it literally just glided on my lower lash line like that is one go around that is very very impressive okay so let's actually go in with a fluffier brush here i'm gonna go into the matte shade called soothe and i'm gonna use the m507 by morphe to really just smudge and smoke out my lower lash line you guys know i really love a nice smoky lower lash line so i'm just gonna kind of pull it go back and forth until it's nice and diffused wow super nice super smoky i definitely want to go in with a little bit more of the matte shade called ritual on that flat definer brush and i really just want to concentrate it right here closest to the lash line because when i got to blending it definitely got mixed in and i want it to kind of like pop out and stand out so i'm gonna just reapply i also want to take a little bit of this shade right here called memory this is the matte shade of memory and i am just gonna stamp this and connect it with my liner and i'm just gonna kind of smoke it into the liner just so that way everything connects and then with my fluffy brush, I'm just gonna diffuse out the edge, you guys. Unreal. This is a super matte black. Lastly, I'm gonna take the metallic shade of Aura and I'm gonna pop it in my very inner corner. So this look definitely calls for a really bright waterline. So I'm gonna go in with this one by Ellie Girl. This is the Ultimate Intense Day Auto Liner in the shade Super Bright. I'm just gonna pop on some lower lash mascara. I'm just using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara, just a light coat. Then I'm gonna pop on a lip color and then we'll be right back and we'll talk about it. All right, you guys, I went ahead and zoomed you out a little bit just so that way we can kind of get a feel for the look as a whole. I finished everything off my lips lower lash line, zhuzhed up my hair a little bit, but I will definitely say after trying out this palette, I could see why a lot of people are obsessed with it. I definitely feel like it's well worth the hype. The formula is unlike anything I have ever tried ever. And I know that's a little bit of a reach, but the sequin formula within this palette is so unique. Like looking at it, it looks matte, but then when you swatch it, it looks so wet and kind of like reflective, but it still goes on very matte. So when the light catches it, what? I don't know, it's definitely a formula you have to try out and really experience for yourself. I will definitely say the palette is laid out very, very nicely. I love how one row is matte, then the other is sequin, the other is metallic, and then we have this really beautiful glitter formula. I know I didn't use as much of the glitter as some of you may have liked, but don't even fret. I will definitely be doing more of a holiday glam look using this palette. I'm thinking in my mind like three looks, one palette, but We'll see how things go. Don't hold me to it, but just know there are more looks coming with this palette because I want to film more with like the burgundies and the siennas and kind of like do something a little bit more smoky, you know what I mean? I will rate this palette a 10 out of 10 because I feel like it is so well thought out. I feel like she really had an idea and she executed it very well. So huge congratulations to Tati. I feel like you came out with a really, really great palette a great formula and i cannot wait to see what else you come out with in this line so that is it you guys i hope you really enjoyed my review and demo of course if you loved it don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up so that way i know you guys like it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click that bell and until next time i'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one deuces